I'll run. So we'll start painting on the cube. Uh, before I start, I just want to show you my layers. Make sure I'm painting inside this green working layers uh, layer. Okay, because the top one, which is the template, if I left click and uh, hold alternate and left click here, I'll investigate this layer. And then you see that this top layer here um, keeps these uh, three boxes transparent, whereas uh, keeping everything on top here. So you keep everything neatly for me in the end if I were to paint everything in this uh, green layer. Okay, so open up my working layers here, create my layer, and then I'll start painting. Okay, I'll use a black brush. And then I'll draw some lines here. So I'm plotting down the uh, the grid. And then I'm looking at the uh, negative space. So I'm actually looking at the uh, negative space here. Just want to show you. Looking at the negative space here. Then I'll just uh, plot down my lines. So this one I can call it a grid. Then next layer I'll call it a dot. Okay, so so I just want to plan my dots. If I were to hold down um shift and left click, shift and Hold down, hold down shift and then left click. I can do relatively straight lines. Don't need it to be too straight. But uh, it'd be nice. I'm just sketching out the cube right now. So um, doing a little bit of line work here. Let me see. I want my dot to be here. I want my dot to be here, I want my dot to be here. Okay, so plant my dots here first. And then I would... Uh, shape it a little bit straighter. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this. So you do have to uh, draw your own cute silhouette this time, and then uh, draw a good one, and then you can use the same one to duplicate for a rest. And uh, yeah, it helps you to get started. And so take note of the positive and negative space. And then once I'm done, I'll just remove the grid. Um, I think it's looking okay, so I can start my painting on top of this. Okay, so new layer, I'll just call it the main silhouette. Main silhouette will have the gray color. So I just want to pick one mid-tone gray color. I'll use my lasso tool, L on the keyboard. Then I'm using the one that is a bit straighter. So I have this uh, straight line. Planting the dots. Then I'll just press G to fill this color here. Okay, so I would have the uh, the silhouette done. Okay, so I just want to chip off this area a little bit more, so it looks closer to my reference. Chip, chip, chip like this. <coughs> okay. This one, I put my dot on top for now. And then, uh, if I just to make sure that you see, just this is the second polygonal lasso tool. <clears throat> okay, so I would start to create my second layer. Second layer I want to create on the right side. So I'll call this uh, a dark surface on the right. So I'll just color pick here. Now fill this color here. So I would fill with the whole range like this. And uh, I don't care because I would do an alternate left click in between these two layers here to create a creeping mask. I hope you guys remember how to do a creeping mask. And then um, it just helps me to uh, to make sure that I'm just, I don't need to worry about so much edges. So I'm just using the main silhouette to deal with all the edges. Okay, so make sure your main silhouette is 100%. So I alternate left click to investigate this layer. 
it's perfectly fit 100%. And then um, just on one layer, I have the main silhouette. And then a dark layer on the right, like this. And then I'll create one more layer on the top, maybe for, for the top surface here. Okay, I'll turn the left click for the clipping mask. So I'll name the layers a little bit better, dark surface, right. surface okay. <clears throat> just want to check my thoughts okay this thought should probably move it a little bit higher. So if I want to adjust my cube a little bit, I can use a transform. So control T and right click and do a transform warp. And I'll just transform this area higher. A little bit of adjustments. A good thing about Photoshop. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Okay, so continue to check your layers a little bit and then uh, zoom out if you need to. Don't zoom in too much. Then uh, make sure your cube looks uh, pretty good before you go further. Okay, now I maybe I want to uh, create a gradient for the background so that I can see it following the reference a little bit better. Then, uh, so I'll color pick here. Now I'll switch the second color to here. Okay, so I make sure I have the top to the bottom gradient and then I'm using this uh, gradient tool. New layer, and I'll call this a uh, background gradient below the main silhouette layer. Okay, so I'll go from here to here. So I create a gradient here. Okay, just delete those below first for just focusing on this one. <clears throat> I want it to be a bit darker on the top part, so I'm using the tones. Let's burn out this layer. Okay, so I'll stop with my layers for now. Um, I'll show you the rest on the next video. See you.